right now at 5, ready to shop. Lacrosse area consumers have a new place to fill their grocery carts. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. I'm Amy DuPont. Ken has the night off. Competition is typically a good thing for consumers. It often leads to more deals and hopefully better prices. A big name has now joined the list of local grocers. Happening tomorrow, La Crosse's new High V store will officially open to the public. News 8 Now's chief photographer Chuck Oates matured the new grocery store. It has more than 100,000 square feet of space and features several departments and amenities, including hibachi, a sit-down bar, and a floral department. Employees say their 600-person crew is in for a busy couple of months. We're going to get through, uh, you know, Halloween and get through that, then we're kind of right into the holidays. So it's uh, almost baptism by fire, but uh, the crew's ready to go and we're ready to flip uh, into the holiday season and we can't wait. Ivy offers, offers multiple programs, including a gas perks rewards program. The president and CEO of the lacrosse store says it's only right to help consumers save on both groceries and gas. And we just feel like it's a good marriage. It's a great opportunity for us to be able to save customers money on fuel at the same time while shopping with us. So it, it just, on both fronts, it makes a lot of sense for us and our customer. Doors are going to open early at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. The lacrosse location is Hy-Vee's fifth Wisconsin store. And if you're headed out early tomorrow morning, Bill, you might want to even wear your winter coat, coat, gloves, hats. Boy, that wind is just bitter. Yeah, bundle up for sure. Uh, today was uh, unseasonably chilly. You probably know that already. 40 was the high in the cross. Again, keep in mind our average high is 61, so a good 20 degrees below that. 38 the high in Eau Claire, Black River Falls, Sparta, and Bulk Field also not escaping the 30s. Uh, Preston, Decorah, and Viroqua seeing highs in the 30s as well. Uh, these would be typical uh, even chilly overnight lows for this time of year. We've got some passing clouds, some very light radar returns indicating uh, maybe some flurries or light snow showers or sprinkles and spots and you can see that activity kind of backing its way in from the north and east and uh, kind of right along and east of the Mississippi River has the best chance of seeing these light snow showers or flurries uh, over the next couple of hours. Once the sun sets uh, they should start to fade pretty quickly and then decreasing clouds overnight and that's going to allow these temperatures which are already chilly in the 30s for most continue to drop into the lower to uh, middle 20s for overnight lows including about 26 degrees in the cross to rather breezy overnight as well north northwest 10 to 20, gusting to 30 miles per hour, causing wind chills in the teens for most. When do we warm up? I will have that answer with my eight day forecast in just a few minutes. Hopefully soon. <laughs> right. We'll see. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> well, the race to control Congress is down to the wire, and voters in many parts of the country are already casting their ballots. Here's Natalie Brand with an update on a couple of the tightest races. Voters in Georgia are starting to head to the polls as early voting has begun in the battleground state. Thank you very much. Thank you. Incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock cast his ballot today. His race against Republican challenger Herschel Walker is one of the tight races that could determine the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. The former football player went on the offensive in a debate against Senator Warnock Friday. He's for Joe Biden. I'm for Georgia. Walker did not accept an invitation to a second debate Sunday. My opponent, Herschel Walker, is not here. Uh, and I think that half of being a, Senate, a senator is showing up. In another key battleground state of Ohio, Democratic Congressman Tim Ryan and Republican venture capitalist J.D. Vance are the candidates in an open Senate race there. They'll face off in a debate tonight. Early voting in the Buckeye state began last week. New CBS News polling shows that Democratic momentum has stalled for now as many voters' view of the economy has worsened. 65% of registered voters surveyed said they feel the economy is getting worse compared to 15% who think it's getting better. The prices at the grocery store are going up. Uh, prices to eat out are going up, we're going to have to stop eating out. While abortion remains a top issue for Democrats, I need to be able to protect my rights as a woman. CBS polling found the percentage who say abortion is very important is slightly lower now than last month. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And according to that same CBS News polling, control of the Senate is still a toss up. However, Republicans are estimated to take control of the House with 224 seats.
Well, following his debate with his opponent, Republican Ron Johnson, U.S. Senate candidate Mandela Barnes is speaking out against Johnson's views on abortion. During his Ron Against Road tour, Lieutenant Governor Barnes told Wisconsin voters that Senator Johnson has a history of not supporting a woman's right to make her own health care decisions and is politicizing abortion. The fact is, half of this country, half the population of the state, lost a lost a constitutional right. That's what's at hand right now. We're talking about rights and we're talking about freedom that needs to be protected. The rights and freedoms that Ron Johnson is all too happy to strip away from people. According to the Associated Press, a, a majority of Democratic ad spending on this election season, which totals more than $124 million, has focused on abortion rights. Happening tomorrow, students and first-time voters are encouraged to go to La Crosse's Southside Neighborhood Center. Between 9 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon, the voter education event will include topics like absentee voting and voter accessibility. If you're interested in becoming an election worker, you can sign up at tomorrow's event. The Mayo Clinic Health System Flu Shot Clinic is now open. Anyone can get a flu vaccine, COVID booster, or both. Flu vaccines are available in a shot or a nasal spray. Mayo also has the updated COVID-19 vote booster that can fight newer strains of the virus. You can get both during one visit. If you're hesitant about getting a flu shot, nurses recommend that you do your research on a reputable site. I would certainly do your research, go on to the CDC website, and read about the vaccines. Um, also, Call your healthcare team, you know, talk to your healthcare provider or the nurses, you know, and they'll give you all the information that you need and you can make the, you know, decision if that's right for you. You can also talk to nurses at the clinic. According to the CDC, flu activity right now is low, but it is already ramping up in southern parts of the U.S. Mayo's flu clinic is open Monday through Friday from 8 in the morning until 530. Starting today, anyone with hearing loss can get a hearing aid over the counter. They're going to be available at a lower cost because of that. The FDA announced the move over the summer. The people most help are adults with mild to moderate hearing loss who might not take that first step. Major retailers, you see them on your screen, are going to be selling these devices. The White House says over-the-counter availability could save people as much as $3,000 a year. Right now, Walgreens' website has hearing aids listed for $799, thousands less than those sold by area hearing specialists. However, it is recommended that people get a hearing test before buying an over-the-counter hearing aid. Up next, Wisconsin's winter season, heating season is here. You know it, and local technicians are busy making house calls. What you can do to avoid a repair bill, that's coming up. Morgan Farmer at Park Bank enjoys working with new and existing business owners to ensure their success. He finds the means to secure loans through the Small Business Administration that enables these businesses to start, expand, and thrive in our communities. Morgan Farmer enjoys helping local businesses, and he also enjoys other things. Visit Morgan at Park Bank to talk about your small business and other things. Over 800 convicted criminals released. 270 murderers and attempted murderers released. 44 child rapists released. Tony Evers' parole commission has released hundreds of violent criminals early, including some of the worst killers in Wisconsin history. Evers' liberal policies are making our communities less safe. Tony Evers put criminals first and our family safety last. Stella Jones Corporation has immediate needs for laborers, machine operators, and maintenance technicians. Why do you want to work here? When I started at Stella Jones, I was living paycheck to paycheck. And in six years, I've increased my pay by $10 an hour, given plenty of chances to advance, and now I own my own home. Due to ongoing medical issues, my family needs me to have a job of flexibility. And Stella Jones has given me just that. Apply today and ask about our $2,500 hiring bonus. Stella Jones, where our people and our products are essential. For 65 years, Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Toyland has made wishes come true for Midwest families. And now through Wednesday, this Blaine's family tradition continues with great deals for everyone. Like these Melissa and Doug play sets, just $24.99. Presto Pizzazz Pizza Makers, just $44.99. And women's Alfred Dunner fashion collections are half price. Plus, donate new unwrapped toys to kids helping kids and we'll match it up to $200,000. Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Toyland, making wishes come true for everyone for 65 years. 
As law enforcement, we've seen a lot. Enough to know the attacks on Governor Evers are outright lies. The truth? The governor actually increased police and first responder funding. That's a fact. Even fact checkers said the attacks on Evers were false. And Evers is working to invest in school programs, mental health treatment, and job training in high crime areas. Those are the real facts. That's how a governor leads, and that's the truth. Governor Tony Evers, he's doing the right thing for Wisconsin. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. It's only the middle of October, but it feels much cooler today. If you haven't already, you're probably thinking about turning on your heat. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen joins us in studio with what technicians are seeing as people fire up those furnaces for the very first time. Amy, it is definitely chilly today. Heating technicians across the area have been taking plenty of calls for service. A furnace typically lasts about 15 to 20 years, but sometimes there can be bumps during its lifetime. One way to prevent yourself from having those big problems is getting it checked each year. Heating techs also say you should change your air filter every two to three months. One filter should be around 10 to $15. Generally, you don't want to go with the cheapest option on the shelf, but you don't have to go with the most expensive either. That is a small cost to pay compared to big repairs, especially as a standard furnace cost starts at $4,000. Having a clean filter can also reduce your energy bills. Technicians also advise turning on the furnace and checking how it runs before heating season begins. That way you can get ahead of any problems, but it might be a little late now. Uh, it is to. in our house. All right. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> the start of the season is always busy, but so far Paul's staff say that they have been able to keep up with demand. Still to come, going green for the community. Details on Gunderson's latest addition to the new or their new downtown building. And unfortunately, we're going to stay, stay on the chilly side uh, tomorrow and Wednesday. I do have some warmer temperatures in my eight day forecast, though. Stick around. That's coming up next. Mowing days are here at Menards. That means you'll save $20 instantly when you spend $200 or more on mowing products. That's extra savings on faucets and sinks, shower heads and shower rods, and more. The savings don't stop there. You'll still save 11% on everything. So update your bathroom or create the kitchen of your dreams with big savings in all mowing products during mowing days at Menards. Joe Biden took $4 trillion from us taxpayers, and he spent it. $4 trillion. And what do we get? We got higher gas prices, higher groceries, just about everything. And Brad Paff, well, he backed Joe Biden 100% of the time. That's what you get when you spend your career in politics. Well, it ain't me. Let's try something different. Let's cut spending, balance the budget, and get America back on track. I'm Derek Van Orden, and I approve this message. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Get $500 cash allowance on this Silverado with a 2.7 liter engine. Plus, current Chevy owners can get an additional $2,500 cash allowance. Plus, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. You want a new bathroom, but there's so many choices. Contact River Valley Remodelers today. Whether it's a full renovation or tub or shower replacement, we'll design and install exactly what you're looking for. Our showers and tubs are easy to clean and come with a lifetime warranty. Looking for a new shower or tub only? We can install them in one day. Get started on the bathroom of your dreams. Contact River Valley Remodelers today. For a limited time, save 22% and receive interest-free financing till 2024. January 6th, Derek Van Orden and an angry mob march on the Capitol. The Capitol, that's where we're headed to right now. Breakthrough police barricades. Derek Van Orden, he and a bunch of his frogman buddies are on the wall. And break the law. Since January 6th, Derek Van Orden has lied about where he was. And deleted an online post to hide what he did. Liar, lawbreaker. Don't vote for Derek Van Orden. Center Forward Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. Mortgage rates are at their highest since 2002. As Donya Bacchus explains, those skyrocketing rates are helping to cool off some of the country's hottest housing markets. 
Inflation, soaring mortgage rates, and record high prices are making it extremely hard for many Americans to buy a home. It is very expensive. Housing affordability is down 29% from a year ago. Consistent Fed rate hikes are also putting pressure on the real estate market. We have seen mortgage rates double in just this year. And in some markets, we are starting to see prices go down from those sky high levels. Nationwide, home prices soared 43% in two years. But now in cities that had those massive spikes, prices are being slashed. The fastest cooling markets are Seattle, Las Vegas, San Jose, San Diego, Sacramento, and Denver. Holding strong are Chicago, Albany, and Milwaukee. A year ago, people were buying homes sight unseen, multiple offers. It's a good time to put an offer on a house at a lower number. LA realtor Craig Strong says buyers and sellers need to adapt to the changing market, especially during fall's traditional home sales slowdown. It's just a changing market. 2008, that was a crash landing. I feel it's going to be a softer landing. It's going to be over a period of time as people get adjusted to the new rates and the new purchase price. Experts say despite the price cuts, the average monthly mortgage payment is still higher than if you bought a home at the peak of the market. But if the rate drops, you can always refinance to ease the pain. Donya Backus, CBS News, Burbank, California. A new downtown La Crosse business is going green. The Gunderson Dental Specialties Building near 3rd and State is installing up to 154 solar panels. Employees say the panels will reduce the building's electric bill by thousands of dollars in just a few years. However, they say the solar panels are more than just about a financial benefit. The addition will be a benefit to the community. Gunderson puts on solar panels for, for two main reasons. We want to Number one, lower the cost of health care. Um, and then number two, we want to reduce the harmful emissions in the air for our community. Although the solar panels are expected to be finished by the end of the week, the new Gunderson facility won't open until spring. Boy, it didn't feel anything like spring or even fall. Bill, we got a little taste of winter this morning. Those winds and the temperatures combined are, whew, a little, little, little hard to get used to so quickly. Yeah, unseasonably cold conditions today. Check out the high, only 40 degrees, and I want you to compare that to our average low, which is 42. So we didn't even reach that for a high today. The low this morning was 35. We should be around 61. Uh, not record territory, though. 23, the record low set uh, in 1952. 37 degrees at the airport and downtown at the station. Cloudy skies, maybe some spits or uh, flurries in spots as well. Blustery north winds, and that's making it feel like 28 degrees. 36 for you folks in Eau Claire. Wind chill of 28 for you with those uh, blustery north to northwest winds as well. We continue to be right smack dab in the coldest air of the uh, lower 48 here, but at least we're not seeing snow several inches up in the uh, UP of Michigan with some lake effect snow coming off of Lake Superior. So it could always be worse. <laughs> 37 degrees. Uh, in La Crosse, freezing already in Black River Falls over towards Camp Douglas, 34 in Sparta, 33 in Viroqua. And again, a lot of spots did not even escape the 30s for highs today. There is that north to northwest breeze at 10 to 20, still gusting close to 30 in some spots. So that's creating wind chills in the uh, mid to upper 20s for many locations. And overnight, notice how wind chills drop into the upper teens. So as you head out tomorrow morning, especially if it's an early uh, rise for you, uh, you're going to have to bundle up with those wind chills in the mid to upper teens in many spots. Now actual air temperatures dropping into the mid 20s overnight, right around 25 or 26 in the La Crosse area, down to the south, lower to middle 20s. And as we head back to the north, more of the same, uh, low to mid 20s common, uh, maybe uh, 22 degrees over in St. Charles, 21 in Lewiston, right around 25 for low for Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. Now radar returns, some light ones this evening, indicating some very light snow showers or flurries or spits and sprinkles, uh, especially along and east of the Mississippi River. I really won't amount to much, and by the time the sun sets, those should start to fade as the cloud cover will be on the decrease tonight as well. All the cause is this uh, stubborn low over the Great Lakes, which is pulling down cold air uh, out of Canada, and that is why temperatures are uh, abnormally chilly uh, for the time being. Now, overnight, we lose the cloud cover. We hang on to that blustery breeze, though. Tomorrow, still blustery, northwesterly winds, uh, lots of sunshine, but still on the cool side. And then heading into our Wednesday, uh, a few clouds at times, uh, but uh, not quite as chilly as what we saw today and the last couple of days, in fact. Now, highs tomorrow in the middle 40s, so again, well short of average. Again, keep in mind we should be around 60. 40s down to the south as well. Again, the difference tomorrow, we'll see lots of sunshine as opposed to, as to uh, today when we stayed under mainly cloudy conditions. So that sunshine helps at least just a little bit. So for tonight, 
Slight chance of light snow showers or flurries this evening. Otherwise, decreasing clouds and cold. Blustery low of 26. 45 tomorrow, mostly sunny but still breezy and chilly. 47 on Wednesday, and then things start to really turn a corner. Look at Thursday, 54. 67 on Friday. Even some 70s by next weekend. That'll feel nice after this chilly start. Uh, next rain chance, probably not until Sunday, and especially by Sunday night into Monday looks to be our next chance of rain, which uh, especially by then will be uh, quite needed. It is quite dry across the region. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Well, coming up, can it get any more festive than this? The Holman Celebration has plenty of people of all ages getting creative. We're going to tell you about those pumpkin festivities coming up. Tuesday on News 8 Now this morning, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and patients are sharing their stories to educate women about the disease and the importance of early detection. And researchers in Wisconsin wanted to collect data on wild bumblebee nests this past summer, so they turned to man's best friend to help sniff the bees out. We hope you have a great Monday night. More News 8 Now is coming up after the break. Fall Home Show going on now at the Board Store. Visit today and see what's new and get your $250 discount coupon. Register for prizes and visit with designers. Hope to see you soon. Sick of running out of hot water? The professionals at Maxwell White are here to handle all of your water heater needs. Our licensed technicians can install, repair, or replace any type of water heater with same day or next day service. Call Maxwell White. Plumbing done right. Punishing inflation, retirement savings evaporating, home values crashing, and Mandela Barnes is oblivious. Barnes just supported a massive tax increase on middle class families and an army of IRS agents to go get every penny. Barnes also supported Biden's student loan forgiveness plan that cost every taxpayer $2,000. $2,000 less to survive on. Can you afford Mandela Barnes? Wisconsin Truth Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. When I started working at Michael's Corporation, Tim was nine years old. Tim worked in the trenches for many years when he first started out in this company. 51 years. 12 years. 20 years. 50 years. Took a small Wisconsin company to one of the best in America. Tim is really hardworking. Very good leader. And he's going to tell you like it is. Because of Tim Michaels, there are thousands of good paying jobs in Wisconsin. Jobs that people are proud of. I wouldn't hesitate for one second to jump in a foxhole with Tim. We at Maxwell White pride ourselves on delivering honest, dependable plumbing services. Whether it's a repair, installation, or any number of other needs, with our full-stocked warehouse and trucks, our licensed technicians are ready to serve you. So don't just choose anyone. Choose Maxwell White. Only we're with Drew Barrymore talking about her big reunion with George Clooney. Oh, my God! Next ET. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. The Halloween spirit is in the air. It's in our neighborhoods and it's happening out in Holman as well, where the Holman Area Community Center will be hosting its first pumpkin fest that's coming up on Saturday. It's going to kick off with a pumpkin decorating contest for area businesses and community members are going to be the judges for that competition. You might even get to see a sneak peek of their artwork outside their businesses. And the pumpkin decorating doesn't stop there. Halfway Creek Trail will be lined with pumpkins decorated by area fifth graders for a night of trick-or-treating. Organizers say that this event will be a great one for the Holman community. Holman is just such a great community to be a part of and live in, and we, we're always trying to get um, the community members, um, old and young, just to try to get together. Pumpkin Fest will be held at the Holman American Legion from 3 until 7 on Saturday afternoon. Admission, oh, very cool, <laughs> admission is free. We'll be back with a look at what's happening on CBS News, and Bill joins us with your final look at your forecast. Lori Robbie enjoys working at Park Bank because she thought bigger banks had lost touch with customers. Lori also enjoys serving the community. Lori enjoys the personal connection with customers. Lori secretly enjoys reading medieval literature. 
Lori enjoys working with a great staff dedicated to customer success. Lori also enjoys growing hostas. So visit Lori at Park Bank and Holman to talk about your financial dreams and getting down and dirty with gardening. Park Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Stella Jones Corporation has immediate needs for laborers, machine operators, and maintenance technicians. Why do you want to work here? I started at Stella Jones when I was 20 years old, and within six years I become production supervisor. We have employees that make this place feel like a family. Stella Jones isn't just a job, it's a career. I've worked here for 22 years. This is a great place to work for with plenty of benefits and room to move up. Apply today and ask about our $2,500 hiring bonus. Stella Jones, where our people and our products are essential. Reducing prison populations is now sexy. Reducing prison populations is now sexy. Sexy? Mandela Barnes's administration has released over 800 criminals, including 44 child rapists. That's not sexy. It's terrifying. And as a mother, I don't want Mandela Barnes anywhere near the Senate. From defunding our police to releasing predators, Mandela Barnes is a threat to Wisconsin families. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. It's Ford SUV season. Time to gear up for changing conditions on and off-road. Get great deals on our most capable lineup of Ford SUVs, including Ford Explorer and Bronco Sport, both rated 2022 IIHS top safety picks and both designed to give you greater confidence. Hurry, Ford SUV season will end soon. Now get 3.9% financing for 60 months plus 1,000 retail order bonus cash on a 2022 Ford Explorer and Bronco Sport, only at your Northland Ford dealers. For 65 years, Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Toyland has made wishes come true for Midwest families. And now through Wednesday, this Blaine's family tradition continues with great deals for everyone. Like this Melissa and Doug Deluxe Ice Cream Set, just $19.99. These drinkware combo packs, also $19.99. And select dog and cat toys are 30% off. Plus, make your Christmas wish list for a chance to win it up to $1,000. Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Toyland, making wishes come true for everyone for 65 years. To everyone who craves a fresh meal, come have a taste of Wisconsin. America's Dairyland. As in real dairy. It gives Culver's fresh frozen custard its famous rich and creamy flavor. Like really rich. So rich. Rich and creamy. And our cook to order butter burgers? They're topped with, you guessed it, Wisconsin cheese. But it's the smiles we put on your face with every meal made just for you. It really makes our hearts melt. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. Nice. <laughs> We've got a lot of news coming up. Iranian-made suicide drones strike the capital of Kyiv as Russia steps up its attack on civilians in Ukraine. Plus, 70 million Americans under freeze alerts and the major cities already seeing the first snowfall of the season. And an uplifting story about how it's never too late to chase your dreams. Emphasis on the lifting. It's tonight on the CBS Evening News. And again, a slight chance for some light snow showers or flurries this evening as some uh, light activity kind of backs its way in from the north and east. Otherwise, it is a chilly evening. Temperatures in the 30s, and it's going to be a blustery night. Cold with overnight lows in the low to mid 20s. Uh, those winds will make it feel like the teens for overnight wind chills. Still chilly tomorrow and Wednesday in the 40s, but look at the warm up near 70 degrees by Saturday. It's the latest uh, news and weather. We hope to see you back here in about a half an hour for our 6 o'clock report.